This is Emily, Henley, and Sammy, and you're listening to Too Scary Didn't Watch. Hi everyone, welcome to Too Scary Didn't Watch, the horror movie recap podcast for those too scared to watch for themselves. I'm Emily, and I am too scared to watch scary movies. I'm Henley, and I'm too scared to watch scary movies. I'm Sammy, and I like watching scary movies, and I like telling my friends about them. Oh, she does. She's obsessed with them. <laughs> um, did anything scary happen to us this week? Um, I w- took a 12-hour flight this week mm-hmm. um, and at, with my fiancé, Tim, and at the end of the flight, in the last two hours, I turned and looked at Tim, and Tim was gray. Like, his face had <laughs> oh, turned what? from a healthy, <laughs> natural, flushed... Um, complexion to literally white as a sh- like so pale oh. and um then he proceeded to have very severe food poisoning oh that's for the right. last oh. two hours of the flight oh did he throw up on the plane multiple times oh god that's he had eaten worst. something in the airport before we left and then it set in like you know 10 hours in <gasps> and then um in our uber on the way home and you know the opening of la la land where they do that whole like choreographed dance <laughs> yeah, on the, the like 110 i think that's the 110 ramp right yeah i think so well that's where we pulled over oh no <laughs> it was horrible oh my god it was really really bad Poor and Timmy. luckily oh. he didn't have a fever so i don't think it was coronavirus but i bet everyone on that flight with you was really anxious but that's not even really a symptom i was of coronavirus. gonna say i don't think vomiting is, is part See, of it i don't know no. i'm part of the problem I, I would just think that it is no it's not and so but okay. nonetheless it was horrible and i <sighs> hope that never happens to anyone i know because it oh, was really that's bad so awful i'm so sorry <laughs> what about you guys oh boy um i henley this is not to make you feel bad but i got very overwhelmed with planning bachelorette parties because <gasps> i was planning three at once that's too many and i was in like six different thread text threads of like buying shit and planning shit and i had to take a xanax i had a full panic attack. oh you did <laughs> i'm so sorry it's okay you have too many friends i have too many She's friends too loved. and here's the thing i'm really excited for all of them it just was like too much at once and i really freaked out oh it's god a lot. I don't blame it's a you. lot it's a lot of that's a lot of planning well i appreciate your help thank you i'm i'm really looking forward <laughs> to all of these events is is the silver lining but mine, that the, is mine lining. the most though right yours the most definitely the yeah. most and to my other friends that also listen to this podcast <laughs> Also, there's the most. Also, there's the most. <laughs> they don't matter, Sammy. <laughs> All of them, the most. <laughs> what about you, Emily? So I feel like there's a lot of scary. There are a lot of scary things happening right now in this week in particular in the world. And, and, and I just have been really anxious and scared. But I'm not going to talk about that. What I'm going to talk about is that um, my landlord discovered a beehive Uh-oh. outside of my apartment. Um mm-hmm. And texted me to say there were people coming to take care of the beehive. Just so you know, it'll be between these and these hours. I was at work. And so I came home and I sh- I have I usually keep my door with the screen shut and like some windows open. So I came home and I shut everything. So I'm hanging out and sitting and I my cat starts sort of chasing after something. And I knew, OK, a bee got in. And so I got her away from the bee and I put it in a little cup and a paper and put it outside sit back down she's meowing she's in another room it's another bee and i'm thinking oh my gosh look she's really going after these bees good for her um and then for the next hour i proceeded to take about 40 to 50 bees out of my apartment (laughs) oh no um and it kept happening and i was like what the fuck is what how is this all the doors are shut they were gone how is this even possible so I st- stayed in that room for a little while to see if I could see where they were coming from and opened a closet and around an outlet that must have been replaced at some point. There was a hole and, all um, coming in through and that they hole. were all coming in through that hole. So many bees. I can't even. It was so many bees. That's- it was so <laughs> oh, no. many bees. And I was certain it was never going to end. I did eventually duct tape around that outlet That's and good, good and thinking. then they didn't come in anymore. But. There are a lot of dead bees. There are a lot of outlet. dead bees trapped inside my closet. And, and you know, I it's not good to have a beehive outside of my apartment, but it, it wasn't a problem for me until they did something about it. And they had bees <laughs> inside my apartment. It's not okay. Uh, anyway, so I dealt with a lot of bees. It sounds stressful. Let's all soothe our nerves with a very relaxing film. I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> what film is that, Sammy? 
<laughs> this week's film is 30 Days of Night. It came out in 2007, directed by David Slade, who also directed Hard Candy and Twilight Eclipse. Guys, another <laughs> another vampire film. I'm, I'm sorry, assuming which one in the similar, order is right? that? Second one? Third. Third <laughs> one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We recently watched, all the, for those listening, <laughs> I recently watched all the Twilight films for the first time. Huge fan. We loved them. We loved them. Um, written by um, Steve Niles, Stuart Beatty, Brian Nelson, based on a comic written by Steve Niles and Ben Templesmith, starring Josh Hartnett, Melissa George, Danny Houston, Ben Foster, and Mark Boone Jr. <laughs> well, here to talk to us about this film is an actor, a comedian, a lovely person, a, a fourth, we just learned, Eugene Cordero. Hi. The fourth. Hello, Eugene. Eugene Cordero, the fourth. The fourth. Please. <laughs> That's what I do. Use my That's full what I go title. by now. Yeah. Um, Hi, slate your name. Uh, Eugene Cordero, the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Want to highlight that? Perfect. Uh. <laughs> Eugene, did anything scary happen to you this week? Um, I got LASIK done. <gasps> oh, my gosh. LASIK? Um, no, I really would love to get LASIK, um, but I'm very blind. I don't think I can. I think you can, but it's <laughs> scary. Yeah, they, it seems they, scary. You're even awake they tell you about, it, yes. Because oh, oh, yeah. you're awake the whole time, and right? And they tell you about it, and they show you a video of them using a later flipping your eyelid. <gasps> I mean, I ball open. Ooh. And then <laughs> shooting another laser in, <laughs> and then flipping your eyeball back, and then that's it. So it's not that long, but it was scary because they flip your, you see them flip your eye and you're looking at this light and then they flip your eye. <laughs> Jenna's catatonic. And then you're looking at another light and you smell burning. <laughs> oh my God. You smell burning, which means there's something, they're burning your face. <laughs> That's your eye. And then they flip it back and then you can see. <laughs> Immediately? Immediately. And then they put this foggy juice on you and then you can't again. Foggy juice? <laughs> oh I called it foggy juice. I don't think that's, <laughs> foggy juice. That's, that's how they call but, term but is that really working? Well, like... foggy juice? Yeah. <laughs> it works all... That's what this is. Yeah, it sounds it's like a rapper's juice. drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> foggy juice. <laughs> hey, man. It's my tour. It's 2020 tour. Check me out this summer. Foggy juice. Foggy South foggy by juice. Southwest. Until it gets canceled, I'll be there. Until Corona. Coronavirus shuts it down. Yeah. Um, um, but wow. yes, so that was scary. That's horrific. But, great, but it works. Yeah. Wow. Also, I reach, I'm like, oh, my contacts are itchy. I should take these out. I'm like, <gasps> oh, no, these are my eyes. <gasps> Whoa. No. That's so, so crazy. crazy. It's nice to wake up. I'm sure it's nice to wake up and just be able to see. Yeah, it like, was great. I haven't been able to do that in my entire life. <laughs> but my wife picked me up from that, um, from my appointment, I mean, from my surgery. And um, and that night my eyes were painful and burning. Oh, but we had to go. I there was a um, mm. Je, uh, Nick and Jessica, Jessica Simpson's old reality show. Oh, I remember that episode where she did like sick and they go to Red Robin. Yeah, and eat. I don't. So did you go to Red Robin? She had to take me there, and we had to do. <laughs> Amazing. I had to do all of the lines that are like funny <laughs> to her. What does she say? Does she say anything? She goes, oh, did I put too much ketchup and there's a mound of ketchup on her head? <laughs> so I had to do that and I had to like read the menu. So very you straight. had to play a, a part. Yeah. After I your surgery. Yes, my eyes were bleeding, I think. <laughs> but oh my God. Did I, I put too much yeah. ketchup? I had foggy juice. It was all fine. <laughs> it was juice. all fine. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a good one. That's, that's a, a good scary week. thing to scary, have happened. Yeah. Big week. Big, big week. Big week. Well, speaking of scary yes. experiences, <laughs> um, do you like scary movies? I love scary movies. Yes. I love them. I hated them as a, as a youth, um, <laughs> but I was afraid of... Um, Freddy Krueger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Because he attacks you in your in, fucking nightmare. In your dreams. Yeah, that was terrifying. Oh, um, no. So, like, it's it was so just bad. a scary thing. You couldn't so escape it. So then I was just it. like, no, I can't do this. And I used to love Thriller, the song, okay. mm -hmm. by the artist we're not allowed to listen to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, Vince's, Vincent Price's part where he starts just talking. Oh, yeah. I would have to run upstairs and away <laughs> from that room. <laughs> So it's but too not scary. stop the song. Not Wait for it to no, no, pass because, and come yeah, back. To I had to come back to dance. 
<laughs> but you don't dance during a fucking monologue no. mid song. A spooky monologue? No, nobody's dancing. Nobody's then. dancing then. Everybody's just being spooks. <laughs> <laughs> That's spooks time, and I'm not going to be part of and it. And I won't be here for that. <laughs> but my shoulder's going up, and I'm clapping over my head moments later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, but I eventually people were started loving like my cousins and stuff would love getting together on a night and watch these movies and the idea of that was so much more fun than me mm-hmm. being the one that was a, that was scared mm-hmm. that i started enjoying it and enjoyed being scared because it was kind of like social pressure yeah got you yeah so these pres- are so communal yeah yeah and people would scream and then mm-hmm. i got even more into it as an adult mm-hmm. because my wife um Love scary movies as well, but like, is a big screamer and like that's like fun to and watch. It's so with. fun, <laughs> and everybody like my we'll we, a bunch of us go to almost every scary movie that comes out, and everybody wants to sit next to my wife <laughs> that's because great. she'll just she's be like, react ah, to Vegas. come on, <laughs> I love and it. then and everybody is having a blast, and she's having, and I would check in and be like, "Are you okay?" And she's like, "No, yeah, of course." <laughs> Yeah, what? What? Shh, I'm Shut watching up. the movie. Yeah. yeah, we're having fun. <laughs> Let me be in that it. That is such a. That's one of my favorite reactions to a scary movie is the scream and the like. Ah, oh, you made me scream. Like yeah. the like anger at the reaction was really so fun. good. I feel like Emily, you have pretty good strong reactions just to the trailers that we watched together. I can't help it. I know. Yeah, I am very scared. Scares. It's very emotive. Do you have a scariest movie you've ever seen? There is movies that. Um, I won't watch. Mm. What are those? I, w- I mean, I won't watch Midsummer Summer. Mm. Oh. That was the first episode of this podcast. Oh, it was? I won't watch it because I don't, I'm like already scared of white people during the day. <laughs> so it's not like during you need to, you don't during need to like day. also show me something yeah, that. I get it. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I'm correct. <laughs> yeah. Like, They're fucking scary. This is a movie about how I'm right. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> so if I go to a field where you guys are having a party, something might happen to me. I yeah. knew that. I won't feel safe here. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. You have a different party than I do. <laughs> Rockin' it. It's a. a movie about a different I get party. It. I don't, I'm trying to think of the scariest. The idea of the movie The Strangers. Is that the one where they come at them in a vacation home or something? Where, yeah, or... where they just like, and there's no, there's reason, no reason for it. They're just it. like, we're going to yeah. kill you. They're just like, hey, let's walk into Ooh, this that's house. that's so scary. It's unfair. I don't like that. And I don't like that one yeah. little bit. Yeah, no, that's no, no. Yeah, there's no reason. Like, if there's like a serial killer on the loose, I'm like, great, let me see it. <laughs> like Halloween <laughs> you know? or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. get it. I get it. Tell yeah. me why it happened. I'm on his side. <laughs> yeah. I can Let's empathize. Go. I'm yeah, building yeah. empathy. I'm yeah, building yeah, empathy. Yeah. He had yeah. a hard childhood. I feel we it. Get yes, it. we get it. Great. We get it. Great. The omen. Yeah, the kid was in the wrong bedroom. But I get it. I and get that's it. enough. Mm-hmm. That's enough. Um, oh, what's the name of the um, one where they go? Splunking. Splunking. The Descent, the baby. Descent. That shit is scary as shit. I remember that movie Ooh. being one of the scariest ones, just because the way they did like claustrophobic oh moments were so good. Gro- like. Horrible. I can't wait till we do the descent on this podcast because I've been hearing Sammy and Jenna talk about the yeah. descent for honestly years now. And, and yeah, I'm but this is one curious. that you will all watch, right? No, the You'll descent. Have, yes. No, they will. There's no way. In no, hell. but you have like why? It, why? If you're gonna do it, if this, it, <laughs> and, you have to re- and you need to record it Should while we? you're watching them. Wait, this Silent has to Jenna's be, giving two thumbs up. This has to be. <laughs> I think you have to you have to get the fans of the podcast. To reach out and have you guys do a two-hour <laughs> live stream. Live live stream. stream. <laughs> I don't even know. It could, I think a live stream would be great. It's not a bad idea. Honestly, I want to. Oh god, this might be a my eyes are bigger than my stomach situation, sure. but I want to. Which I is want- a metaphor I love using with watching movies. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my what? eyes are bigger than my stomach. There's no better way to say it. Uh, no, wait, can someone I was with- about to destroy this whole movie. <laughs> can someone come? And then a I better got metaphor. Full, really. Can someone come up with a better metaphor? <laughs> um, my you're uh, biting off more than you can chew. Oh. So, same, same sort of same thing. Same sort of thing, Still but food. also food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I like eyes are bigger than. Yeah, I like the eyes. My eyes are bigger. My eyes are bigger than my brain. God, my eyes are stronger than my heart. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna 
copyright some of these. Something like this. My eyes are that's stronger. A t- that's a t-shirt. Than my heart. Hi guys, it's cocktail hour, and this week's cocktail is a bloody Negroni. To make this drink, you'll need three quarters an ounce of gin, three quarters an ounce of Campari, three quarters an ounce of sweet vermouth, and three quarters an ounce of blood orange juice. I know last week's cocktail also had blood orange juice, but guess what? They're in season, and my neighbor has a blood orange tree. Plus, they're really good. Uh, You will stir all ingredients with ice and garnish with a blood orange slice. Cheers. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, tell me about this movie, Sammy. What have you got? Because I know. Oh gosh. I don't have much trivia. I know that it was shot in New Zealand, which surprised me. It is set in Alaska, Alaska. northern Alaska. (laughs) Those Mm -hmm. are different. Um. And this um story was originally or Steve Niles, the writer, pitched it as a film for a while and was like rejected a lot, and so wrote it into a comic book. Smart. And then you hear that, people. Hear that. (laughs) Comics. Yeah. And then uh, one of the studios that rejected him were like, wait, what's this comic? And turned it into a movie. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I never heard little, that workaround. A little but roundabout that sounds... way to get yeah. it done. Sure. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Mm-hmm. Put the middleman back in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the secret. Let's add an extra step. Uh, I have a bunch of rom-com ideas that I can't wait to turn into comics. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and the vampires in this movie speak a completely original language mm-hmm. created for the film with the help of a linguistics professor at a New Zealand university. Oh, oh that's using why the they locals. Went. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure the payoff for that was huge, it right? Was, you it, know what? It it was off putting. The the language uh, they speak in it feels like it feels like something we should know, but scary enough that you're like I shouldn't know. This. Okay, so it yeah. does actually it's work. Scary. It was worth yeah. it. I think it was worth it, and I would it's, say the like sound design mixes with yes. their like voices and Mm-mm. screams a lot, and music. It like kind of blends together. The sound design in this is really, really great. But it also the language. Can we talk about the movie uh, parts of the movie already or no? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Or this the my favorite line and a line that I quote all the time from this movie is. Because these vampires speak this other language, there's only one moment where they speak English, or there's a couple of small moments, but one main moment where they do speak English, and it's terrifying. Mm. Oh. So I think that's why that would be also, so jarring too. Yeah. All of a sudden, yeah, because then you're like, oh, they are. They, they understand. They're just choosing to yes. speak in a language. They're, yes. can, mm. they're significantly smarter than yes. us. Ooh. Yeah. Are we gonna watch the trailer? I think yeah. we're gonna watch the trailer. Let's watch the trailer. Let's watch. Okay. I wanna. Watch I wanna watch the goddamn trailer. Vampires, you know? Vampires don't exist, Jake. That cold ain't the weather. That's death approaching. They're tearing through everyone's home. We can last the month. Um, okay, wow. Oh, I am really excited to hear about this movie. Um, that trailer was like, the, especially the music, is like very rock and roll. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It's here very we go. Uh, 2007. <laughs> oh, like, yes. Like um, rap rock. Rap rock. <laughs> you know? Yes. I could tell by the fashion choices that were made. There were a lot of like baggy long pants. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Oh, it was yeah. nice. And, you know, Josh Hartnett. And Josh sure. Hartnett. Yeah. Just nice stovepipe pants yeah it just goes straight down you don't know where the knee is you just know that it it bends it starts at a hip it ends at a yeah, foot yeah. what's happening in between the, the rest is just pants <laughs> oh my legs they're pants yeah. and it also also it looked almost um i guess because it takes place at night but it all looked almost like black and white the whole movie yeah, like, yeah. It seemed like there was a lot of a color cool in it blue and the blood all looked very black yes mm-hmm, mm-hmm. let's start from the very beginning okay so we start with some title cards that's give it give us some uh uh context we're in barrow alaska okay northernmost town in alaska mm-hmm. in the new US. zealand is that real um do we know i think the place is real but yeah. they've filmed in new zealand so got it got it got it 
Who's so not. what we see is not. Yeah. not correct. Not, not, really, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, it ju- it starts with um, telling us that we're isolated 80 miles away from anything else. Yeah. Cut off every winter for 30 days of night. And this is a real thing that happens and it's fucking terrifying. And what a great place to set a horror film. Oh, truly. Absolutely. About vampires. Uh, especially that. Especially about these vampires. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. We start with seeing um, Ben Foster, who is great in everything. Jenna and I were like, he's so fucking good. Yeah. All the time. Anyways, he's um, looking out at an abandoned ship um for the vessel heads out there mm. and <laughs> sammy oh, loves ships <laughs> and i'm like are we getting into a vessel film here we're not but i was excited to see one nonetheless is there a lot of vessel heads that <laughs> listen to this podcast i don't even know vessel head is like a- we coined vessel yeah, head wow. <laughs> we're trying to build a movement yeah 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 vessel heads <laughs> not me my us eyes are bigger vessel than heads. My, my eyes are bigger than, than my heart, heart. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sammy has a thing for ships. Let's Got just it. say that. Yeah, yeah. Vessel heads. Vessel heads. Yeah, I'm a vessel head. Trying to head. create a very specific community. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hashtag vessel head. Um, and he is wild looking. His teeth are crazy. Ben Foster. He's on his own. He's looking like he's up to no good. Yes. Mm. Th- then we see Josh Hartnett, who <laughs> <laughs> I watched the entire movie assuming his name was Evan. It's not. <laughs> it's Eben with a B. What? <laughs> okay. You, you did, know what? did you I know did this? not know that. No. <laughs> yeah. That's... Wait, wh- who calls him Eben correctly? I everybody, because I scrolled through. I like went oh. through it again today to like take notes, and they're all saying Eben, and it just sound. I just assumed they were saying Eben. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Short yeah. for Ebenezer. Like that's not a name. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but it really threw me. I was like, wait, what? I, I do know an Eben. I I know an Eben really? too, actually. Yes. Oh my god. I know. Is it short for something? I don't know. I, I don't know. It would be crazy if it was short for Ebenezer. <laughs> It'd be crazy if it weren't. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> anyway, okay. Sorry. Okay, so Eben. I, I had never so heard the name Eben. before. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I so think what's, you can what? just call him Josh Hartnett throughout this. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's it. What? Uh, what's... Or Josh. 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 Okay, so what's he doing? Uh, what's he doing? We start with him and him and Billy. Oh, they're cop. they're cops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and they find a pile of cell phones that have been burned yeah and they're like this is weird that's it yeah this is weird a <laughs> little bit of a great joke of like huh you know roaming charges joke or something like that. <laughs> someone must remember, have been real mad about those yeah, roaming yeah. charges i remember it being like a very <laughs> like okay we're getting the comedy out with the partner <laughs> this before, is their vibe yeah this is their vibe there might be some hijinks throughout no no no, no. i think that's where it starts is that ends. the fu- is that the fun and games think, portion yeah, of yeah, the film? I, think <laughs> he, I think that actor gets fired after that scene <laughs> okay <laughs> It wasn't in the script. He yeah, ripped yeah. and he got fired. Hey, man, uh, do me a favor. But they kept it in. It's a horror movie. I know you're local. <laughs> don't, know, don't, the, know the movie, my friend. Yeah, don't don't pepper in your own thing. <laughs> it's based off a comic book, right? Those are funnies. Funny pages. The funnies. The funny pages. <laughs> um, They're going around town and kind of shutting things down because a lot of people leave this town for the 30 Smart. days. Um, As you should. Yeah. So, and so they changed the population of the town sign. And he's mm. like, why are you doing that? Nobody cares. And he's like, it's tradition. And he changes it from like 500 to like 120. Because oh, I guess no. most people leave. Is yeah. the implication that the vampires come every year? Are we going to get to that? Sorry, am I jumping ahead? We'll get to it. And actually, I'm not. They go somewhere every year for sure. Not always this town. No, I, I don't think it's this town. It's but not this town. Somewhere in Alaska. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Because they know So you that... don't really know when they're going to come for you. Right. Well, they don't know any... There's not even any... Well, they burn the cell phones. Yes. So they're not right. communicating. Right. Um. So then we meet Stella, who is um the fire marshal, and the, we get some info that she's separated from Eben. <laughs> yeah. Josh, Josh Hartnett. Hartnett. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh like Bush. marriage separated. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. And they're like, like she's talking to someone. And like, are you ever going to tell me what's going on with you and Eben? And like, why aren't you guys speaking? And she's like, no, I got to get out of here. I got to make sure I'm like not here for these 30 days. Like I'm leaving. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and then we see a shot of some huskies. Mm-hmm. And, oh, I the husky and shot. it's like uh, 10 dogs. You guys know how dogs fare in horror films. Yeah, this isn't going to be good for them. Right, 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 right. All 10 of these dogs die instantly. 
instantly it's wild it's just like a shot of a knife and all the dogs get stabbed <gasps> to death right off right out the gate it's really crazy <laughs> why aren't they getting eaten alive Doesn't I, guess that the dogs the- I think bite back. you know what you know what i think it is i think it's so that the dogs don't like alert the Bark. humans there you go. to their oh, that so they're coming. maybe they don't mm-hmm. want dog blood to yeah. eat yes yeah 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 we better shut these dogs yeah. up yeah yeah. Um. Then we're seeing Eben going around town. Oh, sweet Eben. <laughs> everyone likes him. Everyone loves him. Well, there's one guy that's kind of his name is Bo, and he gives him a parking ticket or something or like. Sure, a his name's not Vo. Yeah, yeah it was Vo. who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Anything goes right it's now. Eben and Vo. <laughs> Eben and Vo. <laughs> yeah. Um. It gives him a ticket. Bo's. I don't know. What do we call him? Curmudgeon-y? Yes. He's like um. Like a. a grumpy man that lives further out of town so right. he's like if i give him a ticket it'll make him feel more a part of the town which is like what oh <laughs> Evan. yeah and then stella is driving to the airport she's got to make it before this last plane or she's stuck here for 30 days she will be i bet and the <laughs> fuck- <laughs> fucking emily what the fuck <laughs> sorry the craziest truck that has like a blade saw what is this truck um it's like it feels like a different movie <laughs> For it's a like moment. Final Destination yeah, yeah, yeah. for a second. Okay. Like there's a couple of moments in the movie where you're like, just to get to the movie. Yeah. That like n- thinking of the ni- kniving the wolves of the phones and all that stuff, like to just kind of like pepper in what's happening uh-huh. is like kind of huge. Mm-hmm. They couldn't figure out another way to do it. So they're like, I don't know, a huge crazy car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's as if it has an enormous chainsaw in the front of it. It's, yeah. It looks extremely dangerous. It's like Mad Max. It's a Mad Max yes. car. It's okay, so okay. insane. And it crashes right into her car. Okay. And it's pretty scary. Jump scare. Pur- I jumped. On purpose? I was holding it? hot tea. I almost spilled oh it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, that's brave. Yeah, I mean, that's how you watch a horror movie. <laughs> Piping hot tea. Piping hot tea. Seriously holding a mug of hot yeah, tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like chamomile something, tea. <laughs> something in the oven that needs to go out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> like all of these things are perfect for a horror. Yes, movie. perfect. Wait, uh, does it so, run into her on purpose? Do we know? No, it's like it's like um, a, t- a townsperson. He's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'll call my mom. She can come drive you. And then she missed it. She's like, but and he's like, but you know, like she's pretty slow. And so she calls Eben. It's a tense phone call. Mm-hmm. She's like, I need a ride to the airport, and we can like talk if you want on the way to the airport. And he calls his friend Billy. Billy, by the way, has the whitest teeth in the world. <laughs> so Good for many. Billy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And way before any of those. <laughs> um, Congrats. Yeah. And Eben just like says, Billy, can you go get Stella? Like, I'm not driving her. Um, okay. So Stella, she does miss her flight. She does, what? She does miss it. <laughs> wow. And Saw it coming. Billy's like, you can stay with uh, me and my wife and you, the price will be you have to tell us what happened between you and Eben. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Eben is back, <laughs> back at the station. We meet his brother and his grandmother. Um, oh, so he's a local. He's a local. He's staying there for the winter. He's the, yeah. And because he's a cop. Um, he's one of the cops that has to stay. I feel like I he for- might be like, what is the head cop? Sheriff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. he's the. I think he's the vessel head of the. <laughs> he seems the, too young. The, he seems the too the young to be the he sheriff. Looks so yeah. young. Yeah. Yeah. Young, um, young Pope, young sheriff. It's all, it's all, same. It's all, it's all same. in there. Um, and so then uh, his grandma, who's in the police station, says there's a, been a call of vandalism. And he goes to this like plant to check out this uh-huh. vandalism. And there we meet Wilson. There's a lot of characters in this movie. We meet Wilson, who's mad about his someone has destroyed his helicopter. Yep. And the parts have been thrown into what they refer to as a muffin monster, which yes. is essentially like a what like a wood chipper, uh, but yeah, like a metal it's, chipper. It's, it's like, like a, a really intense like blade a, thing. Oh no, I don't um, like like a this. garbage disposal for metal. But it's huge. It's and it enormous. looks like big teeth kind of oh, like no. you know. Oh it looks like no. a saw movie like weapon. Torture device. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Chekhov's muffin monster. Yeah, Chekhov's <laughs> muffin monster. We all know it. Um, you've seen Ugh. it a million times. Right, the muffin monster. <laughs> you hate to see it. But yeah, so it again, it establishes like, oh, you can't get out of here because of the helicopter, and it just so happens. There's also a big muffin monster. Then there's a muffin monster. <laughs> yeah. One truck, no more flights. Okay. No cell phones. No cell phones. Then we go to the electric plant and the man that's like manning the security cameras or whatever is 
this power go out or something yes. and he's like goes outside with flashlight mm. this is a scene in the trailer and you see kind of <gasps> people moving behind shadows him, around him. shadows mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden he's surrounded mm-hmm. he's like who are what's going on who which are is people? what you see in the trailer mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then they lunge at him and you see them bite his neck yes very violent and they have a lot of sharp teeth a lot like, like shark, shark teeth mouths. Mouths. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 they got shark mouths they're not sexy vampires they're not no, unfortunately no, 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 no. then we go to the diner and the strangers the stranger is what they call him. Ben Foster's character is like sitting at the bar being real creepy. And he's like, I'll get like a whiskey or whatever. <laughs> and um, they're like, we don't have alcohol during this time because like it's hard enough without or, like without alcohol. What? It's like, hard enough to not have alcohol. I was enraged as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me? She threw her hot tea because of it. <laughs> that seems unrealistic. It's constantly night and we aren't drinking. I know. Right. Yeah, torture. Yikes. Um, And so then he says, all right. What is his accent? I can't remember it, but it's good. Yeah, it's McConaughey. It is kind of McConaughey. It's It's like, I'll take some raw hamburger meat then. Get me some raw hamburger meat. Ew. Uh Yeah, Josh Hartnett walks in and is like, all right, buddy, like, let's settle down. You're creeping everybody out. What's the deal? Yeah. And they get in kind of a little standoff. And he's like, let me let me take you down to the station. And um, Ben Foster kind of gets in his face and then Stella pops up behind and puts a gun to his head, the stranger's head, and is Holy like, shit. no, you're going to want to do like what he says. And then they together escort him back to the mm. police station. And then on the drive there, she's like, oh, my car got wrecked by the crazy chainsaw truck thing. And he's like, yeah, it's been a it's been a hell of a day. There and in the backseat, he goes, just you wait. <gasps> so he knows <laughs> yeah how does he know I, whatever I don't need to know that we'll find out maybe or we won't I don't know I think we will we do <laughs> cool <laughs> Um. so back at the police station they're kind of trying to figure out where he came from they're like you didn't get here on a plane he has a different drive accent here. yeah okay He's. I bet this is a town that doesn't see a lot of visitors right, right. not during this time especially yeah Um. so they can't figure out where he's from they put him in a jail cell. Yeah, they put him in a cell because they don't know where he's from. <laughs> what do we do with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, okay, so these we see him They're in the very trailer, trusting. just yeah, very yeah. trusting. in like the little tiny cell. Of, uh-huh. and talk- yes, okay, okay. yeah. Uh, we get some info that um, Grandma has been growing pot because she has cancer. Because um, they Aww. he like finds pot on his little brother and is like, "What the heck?" And he's like, "It's Grandma. She's it helps her with her cancer." Mm. That'll come back. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And it's a movie about weed. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is actually a stoner film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's so scary what happens to the weed. <laughs> um, and then, the, like, phone lines are down, and... Is the power out? The power, I think, yes. goes out. Maybe they have backup generators, so it's just that the phones are down. I can't totally remember. Okay. But they get some, like, for some reason, he needs to go back, like, to check on Gus's, the, the oh, like, oh, yeah, power yeah, yeah, guy. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Something oh yeah, the backup off. generator comes, pops on. Yeah, so he's like, "Let me go check out like what right. happened." Drives on out there, and um, Gus's head is on a spike, no. decapitated head. Wait, yeah. who was Gus again? Sorry. The power guy. The power he got guy. eaten. We saw him get bitten in the neck. Gus was the yeah. power guy. Oh no, they put his head on a spike. Yeah, and they put his head on a spike. They're, they have a message. Yeah, so yeah. they're not hiding. They're like they're saying we're here now. We're, we're here, here now. now. And sorry, before that happened, uh, the stranger Ben Foster has a good little uh, line or monologue type thing where he goes, he's like laying down, saying creepy weird shit. He says, <laughs> "Check on Gus. <gasps> Board the windows. Try to hide." They're coming. So he even knew this fucking guy's name. Uh, well, they said it. Oh, they're they like, said we're going to go, go check, check on Gus. Gus. Oh, and yeah. he was like, and do it. Okay. he says, this time they're going to, they're coming and this time they're going to take me with them for all oh. that I have, for all that I have done. It was, is he like a big fan freak of these vampires? He's a fan freak. Ew. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a fan freak. <laughs> oh, I don't like that one little bit. <laughs> so he's on their side. He thinks they're going to give him something. What yeah. could they possibly give him? Immortality. Yeah. I don't think they can do that. They're going to eat him, obviously. Maybe they can. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Eben is obviously <laughs> very disturbed by this head on a spike. He's driving around. Telling everyone, go inside. If you have a generator, go inside. If you don't have a generator, meet in the diner. 
don't know mm-hmm. what's going on. Everybody like stay inside and um, goes back to the station. Oh, no. First, we see the couple who had their dogs were killed. All the huskies were theirs. And they're oh, in there. Oh, it's a personal oh, husky. That's sad. It was like all. Yes. It wasn't a wild pack of huskies. No, it would. They were um, personal, on huskies. Pers- personal, <laughs> personal huskies. Personal huskies. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they're in their house and a vampire jumps right through the window. <gasps> yeah. We see oh, this, this in the trailer. This yes. is in the trailer. As and they're having dinner. Already upset that their huskies have all been stabbed. Oh, no. <laughs> They're already having a bad time. And if then it the was wife one husky, you'd have like a, ha- a bad lunch. Ten Multiply huskies. Multiply that by ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got ten dead huskies. Yeah, it's bad. Um, it's bad. And, and a dead wife now. <laughs> yeah, about to be a dead wife. She yeah. gets snatched right out of the window and pulled under the like crawl space under the houses. I don't think we see either of them really die, but you kind of get the both... I- you get the idea. Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. You see them getting pulled into the darkness basically. Yes. Oh, that's not good. Then we're back in the station. Uh Eben's brother, I think his name is Jake, and the grandmother and Stella are there playing like a board game. <laughs> and the stranger in the cell is like taunting them and the brother throws a piece at him and he says, thank you for throwing me that plastic piece. I'll be able to use it to like break out of here. And oh, the Jesus brother Christ. like panics and goes to like run to no, grab it. Uh-oh. And he grabs the brother by the neck against the uh, bars. Like a pull, pull in situation. Yeah, and he's like mm-hmm. strangling him. And then um, Josh Hartnett walks in just yeah. in the nick of time, shoots him in the shoulder. Oh, fuck. And then walks into his cell and handcuffs him up to the bars. Um, and this man was arrested for being weird, yes? Yeah. I, thought, I think he has yeah. no crime at this point. Yeah, at, at this point, point, he just has He's now been shot chief. Yeah, yeah. on his handcuff. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, just to be checking. fair, he did grab... I guess strangling no, through, through, yeah. through yeah, bars yeah, 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 is, yeah, yeah, yeah. is but, probably a crime. Okay, great, 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 great. Um, I mean, I don't think they're wrong, but, right. you know, in the eyes of the law. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Uh, Alaskan law is a little different. I'm sure Especially it is. Especially Alaskan New Zealand law. Uh, it's a little different. Alaskan New Zealand yeah. law. Yeah. I'm sure they've got their own set of principles. Yeah. So do, so do they have any idea what's going on at this point? Are they asking questions? I mean, like, is anyone like, why Why did Gus's head end up on a stake? Is that like a question? I like that about this movie. It doesn't really take too much time to explain anything no. to They're you. just like, oh, we're in it. Yeah. Yeah. They're Well, at that point, they're just like, what? They're Josh trying to survive. Eben is just like, what's going on with this head? This is m- messed up. We've got this weirdo in this in the cell. So it does kind of set up like as an audience member, you know that they're vampires. Of course. Right. Yes. Yeah. But I think in that world, maybe Josh Hartnett's performance isn't like <laughs> let us know this yet. But sure. it feels like maybe it's just like a bunch of punk like like just guys like him. Right. Like the stranger guy. Right. As far as he like, knows, yeah. these are just some freaks. It's not Fre- nothing supernatural. Right. Yeah. It hasn't happening fully crossed yet. that line yeah. yet. Just we like haven't some... seen the eye. I don't think we've seen how crazy they look. I don't no, think yeah, Josh Hartnett haven't... has seen what they look like yet. Okay. Right. Uh, so then they, okay. they get they drive back to the station and brother and grandma are gone and the station is covered in blood. Oh my god, no. The stranger is still there, still handcuffed. And looks very sad, and <gasps> he says they didn't take, they oh, didn't no. take me with them. Um, yeah, we feel really <laughs> bad. We feel yeah, yeah. really bad for him. That's the right. No, no, I don't remember him. But they, oh no, so the grandmother and the brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate it. And then we get our first scene meeting the vampires, yes. and we hear the language. Danny Houston is the main one, who I just learned today, Angelica Houston's brother. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Didn't know it. I didn't know that either. I know. I was really shocked. Um, but they kind of look alike, and it makes yeah. sense. Um, he, in a weird way, kind of looks like Vincent D'Onofrio. Yes. Yeah. I, I see movie. that. But Danny Houston is really great in this, and I really enjoyed this I whole, this whole performance. The best. Does he he's do so other good. things? Is just he in other like, things? He's in succession, the most important of all. Oh, the most important of all. Oh, my God. Um, I don't know it. <gasps> never heard of Eugene, it. really? No, I mean, I, d- I know of it. <laughs> but you haven't just, seen it. I've never seen it, no. <gasps> it it's worth seeing. Um, but so he, just his like body movements and everything are so good. Yes. And so they he's look- He's good at being like creepy. He's very creepy. Yeah. Their eyes are all black. All black. Shark teeth. Shark teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have nasty long nails. Ew, 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 ew. Yeah, 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 yeah. And okay, like okay. Uh, big, heavy- 
brows. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Across that pterodactyl nose. In the scariest way because like it looks really you can scary. just see it from a distance. So yeah. it just like has that shadow. It's, it's almost like they're just off from being yes. normal here. Yeah. Like it's not so crazy, but right. it is like. Right. Where if they're f- far, far enough away, you're like, oh, that's another human. Ooh. And then they get closer and you're like, oh, no, I'm in trouble. Yeah, this, like, something <laughs> yeah. about this feels wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and so we get a little vampire exposition. Great. Oh, uh-huh. you love it. And he says, Danny Houston says. This is all subtitled, by Subtitled the way. in the crazy language. Oh, yeah. cool. And he says, the heads must be separated from their bodies. Do not turn them. Oh, so if you don't do that, then you get They'll turned. They'll become vampires. Yes. And he doesn't want them to. Correct. Josh Hartnett's going to be a vampire at the end of this movie. Oh, ooh, prediction. Mm-hmm. He's going to turn into a helicopter. Oh. <laughs> if you want the end now, Stella, I'm just letting you know. Stella's going to turn into a muffin monster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then they become robots together. <laughs> and then it's like a Netflix kid. It's a Transformers and they realize that the truck was their son already. Oh, oh. no. Emotional film. Emotional yeah. film. Um, it was a comic first. Okay. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, okay, so do- you have to cut their heads off, otherwise they'll become vampires. Right. Uh-huh. Honestly, not on like Twilight. Sorry. Does anyone want to try to do um, the voice, the the language? the language? I don't even know. Is I don't it even more know. like Latin-y? I don't. Yeah. It, like it sounds like like an old language. It does. Okay. He's their leader. He's the yeah, leader. Yeah. There's like a, a a female vampire that seems to be I don't know. His love interest? I don't know. Sure, okay. sure, sure. His, his How many of them are there? K- kind of a lot. There's at, a yeah. At least, I feel like at first we probably see ten to f- ten to fifteen. Yeah. Okay. But there's like five ish main ones. Yes. Okay. Um, we see in the diner where people are gathering, and we see that his brother Jake is still alive, and he's in the diner with the rest of the people. And mm. um, is he is he in bad shape? No, he's okay. Oh, okay. Um, everyone's very scared and, um, we see another scene of those Danny Houston and the female lady vampire killing another couple in their house. They're basically going house to house, just killing people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's only a hundred and however many yeah. people. Well, it's left. not that many houses. Yeah. yeah. Not that many houses. Um, but this one I like because after he kills them, he uses his fingernail to play a record that's playing. <laughs> and somehow that's the call to all the rest of the vampires. They get very, um... Uh, excited in this moment yeah <laughs> and from it, it, there go on to like basically kill everybody it in the was town. very like I, I, I mean like thematically it was awesome the idea of that that would do it now that i'm hearing <laughs> back yeah, is so a little wild like, all right uh I'm when we get to a new town <laughs> when i find a house that has a record player <laughs> that'll be your cue that'll be your cue but if i don't find a house everybody just kind of eat also, and like you have to listen for record versus CD. Yeah. Don't if Don't. you hear a CD playing. No, 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 that's not it. Y'all heard when I DJ, right? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds very specific. It's, specific. it's my nail. <laughs> it's a certain song. You know what it sounds like. It's a little bit okay. Okay. Good. 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 So good. also the implication is they all have like superpower hearing. Yeah. They can hear yeah. this record player and I would from imagine far away. We don't know what time of day it is because it's always night. So it doesn't right. yes. really matter. It doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't, matter. Yeah. doesn't matter. It was more for continuity of the movie than it was. <laughs> I don't know. When was the shot? Who cares? <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah, of night yeah. shoots. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Um, okay. And so they basically kill everybody in, in the town. There's like a. a everybody like, who's not it's a in montage. the diner. It's like a montage a entire killing There's montage? like a very cool overhead shot where you just see like craziness that, happening. Yeah, them going in. And then that's when you see that like stream of blood, like all of that kind of stuff. Uh, because it's just like now that the record's playing, which again goes into like this kind of, you know, cool. Rap rock. Rap rock situation. <laughs> 2007 rap rock. 2007 rap rock of them going on a killing spree. And it's, br- but it's brutal. Like you really yeah, see, you it. see it. This is when you see what I was worried about. We you, could see. Yeah, but it's, it's stylized really well. Mm-hmm. It, it just feels scary. And like you, you, it feels, it feels more like they're just taking over than anything. Okay. Right. So they're essentially killing everyone who's not in the diner. Yeah. Pretty much. They're, okay. they're killing everybody except for everybody that was. The Pre- large amount of people that were introduced previously the introduced, yeah. yeah, okay, killing off all the, yeah, figures. yeah, 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 all of the New Zealand, all the yeah, <laughs> extras, yeah, all the below the all line the crew, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, and so Eben and Stella arrive at the diner to check on everybody. And he sees that Jake is still alive. Nice little reunion. And he says they killed Grandma. Grandma's dead. Mm. Um, and they're like, okay, we got, they're going house to house. We but then they're keep like, wait, 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 where's the weed though? <laughs> but weed? also, why didn't they kill the, at, the brother? I think he maybe just got away. Oh, okay. They're busy. They're preoccupied. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. We didn't see it, so I can't say for sure. They got tired after the, the, the grandma because there, there was a lot of weed in her system. <laughs> yeah, so they're too like, much Whoa, weed. what it, happened? It <laughs> Let's just chill fuck here. Fuck out. And then the stranger was like, hey, take me. They're like, man, you're killing me right now, dude. We're just <laughs> fucking chilling. Chill I'm, out, I'm just dude. I'm just trying to hear a song from my boy who's DJing over there. Like, just fucking, you're working too hard. You are ruining you're thirsty, you little the vibe. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what it, that, I mean. That's like a, a subtext. This is a, this is a genre bending film, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. fucking love it. That's why I'm saying you'd be in it the whole time. Um, they're like, we need to find somewhere else to hide, and someone says there's um so and so's like house a few doors down has an attic with a hidden door that you can't see, um, and he's already like boarded up all his windows for winter. So if we could just like get in there, that would be a good hiding spot. Yeah. And um, Eben and Stella are like, well, we better get some weapons first before we go there. Correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they drive so fast yeah. to get them. And then in, I think maybe my favorite scene in the movie, the car stops as if something pulls it from behind. They're going like 50 miles an yeah, hour. And, flying. And it just stops and then lifts up. <gasps> and these vampires are just pushing it up with their crazy strength. Oh, yeah. my God. And How many? six or so oh no <laughs> um maybe more and they like push it entirely vertical it look it's not looking good for them no there's do they have the weapons in their car by now no, no, no. they're, on, they're no. in route okay um and then oh and also everybody at this point in the diner conversation has accepted the fact that these are all vampires oh now. right oh, yeah. how do they come to, how, has anyone just, seen them or? i think it's i think it's jake the like 15 year old brother that's like oh, right. they're like vamp they're i think they're vampires Vamp- yeah. And oh, okay, because he saw Grandma die. Yes. And maybe this is a legend we've heard of before. I th- I'm trying to think. I just remember at that point because we all we have all seen it as the audience members. So you're not questioning. You're like, yeah. As soon as they kind of say it for a second, I think I just kind of was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We now you guys know. You guys know. You guys know. You guys know. Let's get They don't yeah. dwell on we it. We don't need yeah. to like unpack it. We, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, so they like flip their car upside down and Bo... Comes in with like a Elbow. snow a snow plow and like smashes a whole bunch of them against the wall, and I think saves them and they get into the snow plow. No, Bo They're like owns shooting the some helicopter. of them. Yeah, yeah. No, Bo no. is oh. the one that he gave the ticket to in yes. the beginning to he's make the, him feel like he's more. To, he's the, the curmudgeon guy the curmudgeon. who is from yes. further uptown. Great, even more remote. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. He would be like the Creole character. He would be like yeah. the, uh, you know, like the, the, the slightly different accent, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. more local know how. Yeah. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, that's the alligator man. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that's me. He's the alligator man yeah, for sure. I'm the alligator man. There's two different alligator men in here the stranger and then this alligator. <laughs> yeah. It's I'm, all making sense yeah, now. Yeah. I'm yeah. so glad that you're here because of the way I'm explaining this movie sounds like <laughs> such a different movie. Well, there's an alligator man. Yeah, there's so, other alligator man. Yeah, there's two different alligator <laughs> men. But then there's shark teeth people, right? And then there's a DJ. <laughs> Anyways, it is so scary. <laughs> um, so, okay. So they all make it back to the attic. And um, did they get their weapons or no? I don't think they did. No. Okay. They just um, had to get out of there. Yeah. No weapons. No weapons, but actually maybe Bo has some weapons. But, uh, and and um, Eben still has his like sheriff weapons. Okay. Like, he still sure, has sure, like, sure. his stuff in the trunk of his thing. Yeah. Um, sheriff weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I like it was like, who's the head of the police? Yeah. Who's the leader? Oh, the sheriff. The sheriff the with sheriff. his sheriff, sheriff weapons. weapons. <laughs> I could call it a gun, but it's a sheriff it's weapon. It's a sheriff, sheriff yeah. weapon. Yeah. It's different. Sounds cooler. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, and then we see Danny Houston finally going to see um the stranger in his cell. Oh, okay, some context. He says, You did all that I asked, and now we'll take care of you. Oh, they're gonna kill him. Man, he just snaps his neck. Of course he does. Yeah. They don't have an allegiance, they don't care. What did they ask him to do, I wonder? Well, I'll come back to it. So he's like it's a vampire an... fan, essentially. 
yeah, it, you saw y- you what saw we do in coming. the shadows, right? <laughs> he's like the he's familiar. Like, he's a familiar. <laughs> okay. Which is why he wasn't working on his look. Because right. he was like, eventually I'm going to have this big forehead. Oh my God. Why, why even like, bother it? My teeth why? are fucked up, but there'll yeah. be shark teeth soon. There'll be shark teeth in a matter of minutes. Let's Honestly, who cares? Who cares? Over the course of this evening, which is 30 days, something's going to happen I'm gonna that's going to change. Teeth. Yeah, I'll be fine. It's fine. Um, and then the passage of time from here is a little crazy because the, the movie does take place over over the 30, 30 days. days. Yeah. Oh, oh, OK. But, but it's like a huge time jump. A lot of big time jumps where because, it's like it yeah. feels nonstop. But there there's like weeks in between. But time some has passed. Yes. OK. Yeah. And they're in the attic and time has passed. Uh, well, they move around a lot. But okay. but okay, so they they are in the attic, and I guess some amount of time passes, and they're like, we need f- food. Yes, and there's but, we think twenty of them, right? In that the attic, died. In the attic, there's only like eight. Oh yeah. my! Okay, but there's still kind of like people that are like kind of hiding out and able yeah. to like stay away from these um, vampires who, at this point, are even though weeks have passed and they think they've gotten everyone. I guess they keep on looking at the population sign and being like. How many did you have? Let's go. How many did you have? There's <laughs> got to be one. some. Start with okay, you. Okay. How many? How okay. many? Okay. How many? Right, because How many? you'd think they would move on to another town if they've gotten almost everybody, but also, they were just like, no, we got to get everybody. If they're trying to also, like, it feels like, how much food do they need all at once? My dude's like, spread it out. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. They're, they're we're um, in Alaska. There aren't a lot of towns. Yeah, but they're intermittent fasting. So it's like, <laughs> they got to get it all now. Binge fast. Binge yes, fast. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay, okay. Fair, fair. <laughs> um. They okay. Okay. So the, there's like a woman. They hear someone calling for help. This is amazing. It's so good. This is one. This is my one of my favorite scenes Tell. of the movie. Mm-hmm. And it's a little part of it is in the um in mm-hmm. the trailer. trailer. Oh, is that woman like walking? She's through the walking snow. through yeah? the snow, okay. and she's just like help, help, and you can just see. People kind of looking through like where You're they're like hiding, hiding places of just being like, oh, my gosh, she's out there by herself. Mm. And um, essentially, she's bait. Yeah. <gasps> you see the the vampires like jumping around on the rooftop. Oh, they're like intentionally not. They're not her. killing her because they, they want to see who she lures out. It, yes. Of hiding places. Right. How did they get her to do that? I just think probably threatening to yeah. kill her. Yeah. Yeah. You won't die you yet. You won't die yet. Yeah. Yeah, or we'll save you, or we'll we'll spare you. We'll spare you. They won't. No, they're not the type. They're not, they're the, not type. the type. <laughs> if I to understand, yeah. Um, but that's the one of the scariest things because once you see them, that they're and doing, you know, it's a whole, and you know that they're that smart too. You're like, they're oh, strategizing. Boy, this is scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're thinking like long term. Yeah, 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 in a way yeah, that yeah. you don't want violent creatures to. be And thinking. you're also like, oh no, they do want everybody. <laughs> right, <it's, laughs> yeah. they like, could eat her yeah, right yeah. now, but they they're don't like, want. No, 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 no. Who do you have? Okay, you saw that dude. Yeah, there's definitely a couple there's more, more dudes. There's more dudes. There's we some gotta more. find there's them. Let's more. get her out. Let's get her out there. So Eben goes out. Oh no, Eben. Um, <laughs> not to like save her. I don't know quite why he's going out because I it, at this point I'm like I'm not going out for that lady. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. one lady. Wait, so he doesn't not. go out to save her. But for some reason he's out. Doesn't make any sense. Is he going to save her? I think he is. He's trying to like, or to, uh, sort of see what the like, deal is. Yeah, like kind of like uh, assess it, and then just get like, hey. I'm not going to go all the way up. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about this woman, but I'm just going to go outside <laughs> yeah, to see yeah. the surroundings. It's just needs right. a little fresh air. <laughs> well, um, that would be fair. And then while he's outside, he sees the husky dad under the crawl space of one of the <gasps> houses. He's still alive. Oh, no. The husky dad? Yes, the man who owned the 10 huskies from before. (laughs) Whose wife got pulled under. I wasn't sure if you meant the man or the husky. Like a husky. who Uh, A a father husky? (laughs) Oh, you meant like just a thick dude? (laughs) (laughs) He's like a husky dad. He's just like kind of like a husky. I don't know how else to describe him. Big boned, maybe? thick dad. (laughs) T-H-I-C-C. Thick dad. Um and oh, no. and he kind of is like oh my god you're still alive like come here come here and he's like oh yeah but I'm j- I'm just so hungry <gasps> and he's like we'll get you food we'll no, get you some food no, no, no. and then he sees his, his eyes and his teeth and his eyes are all black teeth he's not been, yet not yet teeth he's not yet he's like still kind of himself maybe it takes a while yes. to morph into a full yes. dude yes because um, do we imagine their face gets crazy as they become 
Yeah. I think I like, think the brow takes time. The brow takes some time. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. eyes are obvious. The eyes are first. Eyes are first. Eyes are first. Eyes, teeth are second. Teeth, teeth are probably brow. not. Brow probably. I just think those like, nails probably take a while too. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You earn the brow. You earn the nails. <laughs> yeah, the nails are some years. <laughs> years. And to get them to play records is like <laughs> centuries. A, you gotta learn that. You gotta learn that. Time. Yeah. Not everyone can play a record Not with their nails. Everybody can have that kind of <laughs> ability. <laughs> and where does the sound come out? Your mouth. What are you? A <laughs> brontosaurus? <laughs> the Flintstones? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he sees his eyes and they're bad. And then eventually he does like go, he goes for him, the, the husky dad, like the husky lunges. Dad goes for Josh Hartnett? <laughs> yes. yes. And like chases him and gets, chases him through this um, backyard and gets caught up in like a, a, a swing set. Oh. And um, while he's tangled. My God, to have a swing set in Alaska. Come on. Yeah. I mean, there's some for summer what? times. For what? For like, what, a week? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, he grabs, he finds like a an axe on the ground and he first axes the guy in the arm mm. and I yelled, well, that's not going to do anything. Yeah. And then he goes right for the neck and I... it's pretty gnarly. Oh, because you have to separate the head. Well, he doesn't well, know, he doesn't that. know that's, that. That's true. But that's he's true. just trying to kill him. Um, And he, he does kill him. Gets him. Okay. He gets him. Um, and then back. Now he's out in the open. He is. Um, it's hard to k- keep track of all their movements. There's a lot of movements yeah. in this movie. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, so we we're we go back to the attic. Wilson, the one with the helicopter, his dad has Alzheimer's, mm-hmm. and in the attic he wakes up. Oh, he's gonna speak some fucking truth, isn't he? No. Yes. I mean. <laughs> Did I just call the goddamn movie? N- no. No? Okay. No. He just, um, like, doesn't, because you have to be really quiet, um, and he, like, doesn't know where he is, and oh, he's, like, no. calling for his wife. It's Uh-oh. really sad. Yes. And they're like, mom, di- mom died, like, oh, a long time ago, no. dad. And he's like, I gotta get out of here. And he's talking so loud, and they're all like, shh, 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 shh. Oh, no. It's very, very stressful. Very bad. And, um... And I think they like settle him down. And then later while they're sleeping, oh, Josh Hartnett gets back, goes to sleep. He's exhausted from killing that guy. <laughs> he guy. got home safe. He got home safe. Yes. Okay. Um, in the meantime, also, we saw the woman who was used as bait. Get killed. Get killed yeah, in a really. Like, this didn't work. D- yeah. Fuck they're you. just like, all right. Well, you didn't do and a good she's, job. She's being like, bait. when they come up to her, she's like, please, God. And he's like, God. Yes. Oh, I love this that. Is, yeah. Are you being Danny Houston right now? Yes. I saw it in your goddamn eyes. <laughs> and that and that and this is the best line in English. Oh, okay. In the whole movie is okay. this. And she's like, Oh God, save me, God. And then he laughs, <gasps> kind of smirks, and goes, God, no good. Oh. And he has those eyes that are just black. But he like looks up to the sky like <laughs> And he just and he's just kind of no looking God. around and just being like I don't it's like, see him. Oh, it's not going to rain today. Oh. <laughs> you know, but it's like just his like kind of and he kind of tilts his head and gives her this look of like you're fucking dead. How, like, yeah. yeah. Are it's, you kidding me? It's very it's condescending. The scariest. It's very best scary. line. I say it all the time. Whenever somebody <laughs> says it's like, God, I go, no, God. <laughs> it's pretty scary. No, God. I'm scared. But they like slash her to death. She dies a very bad way. They kind of they like fuck with her like a whole group of like ten of them just kind of like bounce her around yeah. and each like slash her with their oh, crazy fingernails to oh. death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's. Like, I think they're trying to still maybe lure people yeah. with like how violent this death is. Like, see, we're gonna really kill her really badly. Like, it's like sure, that. you don't want to come no, save her. Yeah, you. it's no. like yes, we're extra yeah, sure we're now. Extra sure. Also, <laughs> yeah, they're like it's been twenty days. Right. They're just like trying to have a little bit of a good time. There's no more. Yeah, what else yeah. are they going to do? Yeah. 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 Nothing's happening. Um, so uh, Josh Hartnett gets back to the attic. Um, everyone's sleeping and Stella wakes up to the grandpa walking out. He's <gasps> leaving the attic. Yeah. He goes down the stairs and she's like quietly like follow, like following him being like, no, oh, let wait, him go. Gotta, let him come go. Yeah, up, kind of let him go. And he's How like, I gotta go. I gotta find Mary. I gotta. He's like, bye. And yeah. she's like, no, 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 bye. come back upstairs. No, Stella. And he's like, Wilson, come down here. We gotta go home. And um, Wilson's like, Dad, 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 no. Um, and they like settle him down. And he's like, okay, well, let me just go to the bathroom. And they're like, okay, you can go to the bathroom, but you can't flush. But whatever. <laughs> and so he like goes in, and then um. And it just stinks in there. <laughs> That's like a 20-minute scene of them. Like, 
<laughs> you, a bunch of reaction shots of like, oh <laughs> boy, has no one flushed? Oh. This is when the sound design really shines. Yeah, it's Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> it's that scene. <laughs> oh boy. Um, uh, no, that, really making it scary. The movie. I'm shocked. This movie didn't do better. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, I yeah. Um, but grandpa hops right out that bathroom window, which is quite, um, I feel like a feat for a, yeah, for yeah, a grandfather. Yeah. Um, but Wilson goes out and chases him. Oh, Wilson. No. And Stella's like, no, no, no. Tries to stop both of them. He like slams Stella. She like smacks her head on a table. Mm. He's like, I gotta get my dad. And, Mm-mm. um, and the bang wakes up Josh Hartnett. He comes downstairs and a vampire does hear them and comes in the house. Yes. Oh, inside the house. Yes. Oh they've no! Now made too much noise. I yeah. He gets maybe Wilson. I think he gets Wilson. Yeah. It's just to also just show that like now that's they can't go back to the attic. right. They've so been just like, boom. So then everybody's right. gonna have to. So they have to keep a new yeah, new place. start moving. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think he, but he does get Wilson in the meantime. I think he does. Yeah. Um, and probably the grandpa as well. Yeah, because they're not. They are not seen yeah. again. Yeah. Um. And we get a little bit of backstory into why, into what's happened between Stella and Eben. Thank God. I was wondering. Um, <laughs> Finally. <laughs> she says something about like, I should have done more. Like I, I could have stopped them. And he's like, people will do anything for family. And you, there's nothing that can get in between that. And she says, we were like that once. And I kind of got the feeling that there was maybe a child that they had that they lost. I think so, yes. Oh, okay. That's sad. And it's never really explicitly said. Mm-hmm. Uh, Josh Hartnett looks like he's 16 in this movie. Yeah, so. he really does. It's the fact that he has a past life yeah. that involves a child that's already dead, that's surprising It's already to me. dead. Yeah. Right. Crazy. <laughs> um, and that's kind of all we get. And he's the sheriff. And, and he's, he's the, the sheriff. A lot the, of things are not lining the, up, the but head that's okay. Cop. He's the head cop. He's the head. <laughs> the cop in charge. The top cop. The top. top and yeah. he has all the weapons to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he does. Um, okay, so then they're like, we got to move to the grocery store. We need food. Mm-hmm. They, um, It's like blizzarding now. They're using that as cover. They go to the grocery store. They're like getting some supplies, and then they hear something. And um, mm-hmm. there is a little girl. Oh no! Who has been turned into a vampire? Uh, yes. And turns around and says she's killing people. They stumble on her killing people, and she says, "You want to play with me now?" And lunges at them, and is very crazy. It's a real. So crazy they're like fight. very strong. Is a thing yeah. we've learned about. They're them. strong. They can kind of defy gravity. Some of them kind of like. Big jumps, maybe not quite flying. Yeah, but, but big jumps. Yeah, <laughs> big jumps. Crazy quads. Yeah, yeah, like just long jumps for days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Jumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking on top of like. Uh, <laughs> yes, weeds yes, and yes. Shit. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah. Okay, okay. I, yeah. I see it. I see it. Um, and so they've still got their axe, mm. and this little girl's like hiding in the shadows. <gasps> it lun- she lunges at Josh Hartnett. Oh my god, is he an axe little girl? And pins him against the wall, I think. And he can't. He is pinned um, with no weapons, none of his sheriff weapons. Mm-hmm. Oh god. And um, Jake, oh, the Jake. brother, the brother, <gasps> axes this little yes. girl right no! in the neck. Oh no. It needed to be done. It, it needed to be did, done. But and yikes. The, this kid Gives a good performance because afterwards he, by the he way? looks 15. so upset. He's fifteen, yeah. like, and he goes into like full body shakes afterwards in a in a way that really upset me. Yeah, I mean, but it's good. I mean, he's really reacting to having killed a little child. That's when scary movies scare me the most when people are having actual real reactions to the things that are happening around them. Yes, that's when it's when always the, the most scary. So real, right. yeah, because yeah. yeah. if. if 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 everyone doesn't care about anything that's happening, it's like you don't care either. But as soon as people start really caring, I'm like, I need to leave. Yeah. <laughs> <I can't Yeah. laughs> but that introduction of the little girl who also then also kills. So now there's like three. People oh right, left. she probably kills. Yeah, um, I think we're some... down to Stella. Oh, she kills some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In the grocery store, right? There was like eight. Oh, we're no. probably down to like five now. Yeah, we three got... of which are Stella, Josh, and. Jake. Mm-hmm. We've still got Bo. We got Bo. Oh, and Bo. Yeah. What about I'll, the dude? We and then we've got, got like two yeah. other women that I don't know their names. Do we have Helicopter Man? 
No, I think he no, died. No, he was he, Will, that's he was Wilson. The, that's who's dad. Oh, that was Wilson. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, so we yeah, have yeah. we have alligator man number one, right? Some ladies and the then and the, the family. And yeah, the yeah, core yeah, three. yeah, yeah. Um, Fuck. okay. So then after killing this little girl, they're trying to think of a plan, and Stella's like, they they must not be able to handle sunlight, and that's why they had the stranger do things for them. Mm, and so prepare. he kind of put together <gasps> that those he burned the, the cell phones in the beginning and killed the huskies oh. killed the dogs he did that okay that makes a lot of sense so he's going in while it's daytime to yes. kind of set Prep. things up set for them he's he's the prepping stage. he's Cut, prepping. cutting the cutting the phone, phone lines, lines. <gasps> power lines yeah so they mm-hmm. find an ally weird yeah they find a familiar right and then that's their sous chef and that's their sous chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every so their vampire sous needs just a like sous chef. Getting the mise en place going. Yes. <laughs> no, if a yes. supernatural evil being like a vampire ever promises you anything, yeah, they don't decline. Listen. They will decline. They Have will you kill seen you. Interview with a vampire though. I all I remember is who is it? Kristen Dunst. Kristen Dunst. Dunst. Yeah. Yeah. Kristen Dunst. And I, all I remember her is her being really cute. And yeah, I mean they're just. I, I mean vampires have had years decades to get their game right they got charm for days they know what <laughs> they know what to uh, say they know what to say these they ones know are what to say. ugly though these ones are yeah. ugly so it has to be like good words but they've got yeah but they, and they've got power <laughs> that's yeah. true and, and they seemingly live and this forever got, this yeah. stranger had fucked up teeth and was also kind of weird so like yeah, he's not you this know this is an upgrade for him for yeah. sure yeah he's like let's be honest, what am like, i doing here they're uh, not you know, they're not shooting for the stars no. here for like who they're gonna get. They're not yeah. pulling your Jennifer Lawrence's, yeah. they're not, they're your Charlize not, Theron's. Yes, Come they're not going like let's just go straight for Josh Hartnett. They're like he won't go for it. No, he won't. <laughs> let's go for get um, Where's the freaks? Over here. Give yeah. me the freaks. Yeah. They like, know. You think Hartnett might go for it? He's like, Eben? No, Eben? his name is Eben. <laughs> he obviously get... is ready to do bigger things. No, with the sheriff Oh, the top cop? The top cop. Oh, the top cop? No, 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 top cops. He's too busy. <laughs> Let's get the homeboy uh, over here. I like that better than Sheriff. I'm, top the, t- I'm the top I'm cop. The top, 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 top cop? <laughs> top cop? Okay. Okay, so Stella- We're in trouble. Stella says- <laughs> We're in trouble, yeah. <laughs> Stella's, Stella's like, I feel like, you know, we're just going to go with the fact that they're vampires. No questions asked. Vampires don't like sunlight. Your grandma was growing some weed. She's got some UV lights <gasps> in her house. Oh, oh a greenhouse. There you go. Oh, fuck. They're using the whole buffalo in this movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good for um, them. Good for them. Yeah. It happens, honestly, more rarely than you would I know, think. I know. Truly. So often it's like, that won't often come back. they leave a fucking half a buffalo <laughs> the in turning, the goddamn yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Turning, they left the, uh, almost all, all the buffalo. Almost the all buffalo. Buffalo. Which, At which every corner. The turning. Oh, really? They left Ooh, all of they it. They left yeah. the whole buffalo. They leave yeah. a lot of buffalo. It's, sometimes it's a buffalo and you're like, I thought it was a buffalo. They're yeah. like, no, it's a horse. You're like, what? Okay, but y'all had a buffalo. <laughs> y'all started with a buffalo, right? He's like, yeah, but then halfway through, we're like, shouldn't it be a horse? <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't figure out. Next, it's like what lost. What a donkey? Yeah. Uh, but this one, yeah, this one's they're going buffalo. This one does it. well buffalo on it. Um, I respect that. So they're they're trying to set up a diversion. Eben is going to the UV light thing yes. to make a distraction so they can move from the grocery store. But I don't know where they're going. To the, Just to another uh, hiding spot? Uh, I think Station? they're trying to go to the power plant or something. I guess something. the power plant. Oh, yeah, they're okay. trying to get to um, to uh, the muffin machine. The, oh! Uh, but oh. also, I mean, that's a good point. How yes, are the yes, UV yes, lights yeah. going to work if the <gasps> power isn't working? Well, they have j- backup generators. That are still of- functioning? Their Everybody's dead, rest, so everything got turned off. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. nobody's yeah. using so, a lot of power here. Yeah, We've got, got power got for days. Yeah. Um. So Eben goes. He runs and makes a bunch of noise. He's like banging on things. He's like, "Come, come, come get, get me. me! I'm a human." And runs to Grandma's house, fires up that UV light, and closes the door. And the um lady vampire. Is that okay to call her that? <laughs> she um, is that. I don't know. I mean, we'd need to ask her. Uh, yeah. Need to ask her. <laughs> this comes out. It's better than vampire. Bitch, I don't know. So yeah, we'll yeah, take yeah, it. Yeah. I don't know any of the vampire names. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's fine. Um, they speak a different. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Sammy, I'm uh, a little offended, but it's okay. Are Co- all of keep going. Well, still I was trying alive? to think of like, I mean, calling him Danny Houston. One of them looks like Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, kind of yeah. reminds me of Edie one. Patterson in a way. Okay, we'll call her that. I'll call Edie. her Edie Patterson. We'll Edie. 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 Yeah. We can go with that. 
Um, so Edie the vampire. <laughs> Edie. And so she's like, I'll take this one. I'll go in there and get him. Uh-oh. And she breaks down that door and gets blasted with the UV light. <gasps> what does it do to her? And she's screaming in pain. Like burns Whoa. alive. For, it burns him. Burns dead. So this movie's a huge ad for the eff- effectiveness of UV light. Yes. It's yeah. correct. How it can affect all of our skin. All of our skin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> powerful. Powerful. Yeah. Um, and then also in this time, Bo, he, he's getting in that crazy chainsaw truck. And he's just slice. He's driving it in like three sixties, slicing vampires left and right. Yeah. Hell yeah! And he slams into this corner store thing. I don't know. And is trying to lure them in there. And he explodes <gasps> the building with a lot of them in there. And he survives. He is thrown back and then like into the ice and crawls out. And Danny Houston mm. walks over to him, steps on his head. <gasps> I don't like that. And he slams Ugh. down on it, and the like footprint goes into the head. It's so gross. It like Ew. crushes in a very nasty yeah, way. Yeah, it crushes like, like as if you're like stepping in butter. Yeah, it really Ew. is. Like all of a sudden, I don't know what kind of shoes vampires yeah, wear, but like, they butter your boots. face. Ew. It's not good. It's it not similar. Good. To, it it does have a butter because quality you, as you move it's through. It's not how a head it's, would crush. Yeah, like a it's like a play doh type situation. It's like only the part where his foot was smushes, it's, it's just and the shows, rest stays in, yeah. in shape. Wait, it, so does he die right away, or is he like so alive? I mean, alive? he dies. I, no, he's he's dies. Dead. Yeah. 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 I know. I know. His, I didn't know how butter, extreme the butter was, but it was like um. I guess that's also to show how strong yeah, Houston yeah. He was. That it's, it's just kind of like, bonk, like crazy. It's just right, 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 yeah. right. That he could just step down. But he didn't even eat him. He just fucking killed him and just, doesn't care. He was mad. Yeah. Are you telling me it was this hard for these strong, super he- like super sensitive auditory beings to not find them in the attic? I'm They're sorry. They're being quiet, Henley. <laughs> They're being real quiet. Except They're being for, so quiet. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Great. They also might not have been looking towards the attic. You know, they're looking. They're the playing other way. their records. They're yeah. having a yeah. They were just enjoying their time in the yeah. dark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. I won't nitpick. It's their favorite thirty days. Right. It's yeah. like Christmas for them. Yeah. It's Christmas. It is. Um. So the group now gets back together, minus Bo, who has died. Yes. And they're in. I don't know exactly where, but they see across the way a flashlight signal, mm. like a little SOS coming from Billy's house from the beginning with the very white teeth. His cop oh, partner. The white teeth, man. The funny guy. Funny guy. Yeah, funny guy. Jokes. Funny guy. Um, and they go over there. They find him, and he's not doing well. And he says, I shouldn't have signaled you. I just like can't handle oh, no. being alone. And you see over to his the like bed, and there's sheets over like body outlines with gunshot wounds in their foreheads and uh, Josh Hartnett peels back the sheets and looks at them and Billy is crying and he said I heard I heard all the screams I heard how everyone was dying I didn't want them to have to (gasps) die like that and so he fucking killed his family before anything happened. Yeah. Um, oh my. And he says, and then I tried to shoot myself and the gun jammed. Oh. <laughs> so is he, is he, he's just mentally unwell. He's not physically he's unwell. He's not physically unwell. Yeah, he's, he's just, just like, he I just killed my crazy. family and then couldn't kill myself. Yeah. And uh, then I lured and then, you all and then, here. And then hid for 20 days by himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with his dead, with the dead bodies in a bed. With, of his like wife and children. That's bad. Josh Hartnett is not happy. No. But they can't have a good big fight because they have to be quiet. So they have yeah. a quiet fight where he grabs them and he's like, your family, you never hurt your family. It's like, okay, he doesn't need that. Honestly, he's clearly had enough time to feel pretty bad about what his choice is no it's not a fun not a fun scene but he could have stepped out at this point and just got eaten by yeah yeah that's true True. wanted to die he could have fucking died he could have figured it out at this point yeah that's true um and so i think then they're trying to make it back to the plant they leave his house they take him with and they see a little boy walking Mm -hmm. down the street covered in blood looking like so a little in shock like I don't know, I'm not good at this six he's young yeah 
Um, another child. <laughs> this child. And, they yes. re- yes. and they recognize him. They're like, oh, that's like Timmy or whatever. Sorry, Timmy. Love you, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? He's going to love the shout out. <laughs> um, and Stella runs out and, and grabs him. Oh, no. Um, and then a oh, no. very Benedict Cumberbatch looking va- vampire. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Pops out. And they they all run back to the plant. Then we cut back to Danny Houston, who slicks his hair back with blood, which I think is a very cool detail. He's fucking, he's amazing he's in this. I'm telling so you, so good. He makes this movie. He like goes to a corpse and what's uses their relationship blood. like? I wonder. Are they close? Are they fun siblings? Do they hang? I'm curious. I'm curious. There's I, a, really I think there's know. five siblings. So oh. whoa, that's a lot of Houstons. A lot of Houstons. John Houston is their dad, the director of The Maltese Falcon. Okay. Oh. So Holly, showbiz family, uh, showbiz family, showbiz Busy. family. Um, okay, so then, yeah, we're in the we're in the plant with the with the muff, muff and monster. Okay, here we are. And this whole boy, buffalo, the whole fucking buffalo. Is this boy human? Yes, okay. he's just seen some shit. He is covered in blood oh. and like not speaking. No, oh. it's not good. Okay. Oh, no. Um, Danny Houston outside gives a little speech about how. It took them centuries to make people forget about them <gasps> and make them think that they were just nightmares. And so it's important that we kill everybody. Everyone. They don't, want, they don't want anybody right, to because know. Because people will come back and they won't know what happened. Right. Ooh. Um, no witnesses. I really think, playing the long game here. You guys need to watch a clip of Danny Houston in this movie because his performance yeah. is so fucking it's good. It's amazing. I'll do this. I'll do that right afterwards. I'll do this. I'll do this <laughs> I'll right do now. This. I'll do this. <laughs> my eyes are bigger than my stomach. I'll do it. I will do my this. My eyes are bigger than my heart. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so in the in the plant, um, the Drax, the Guardians of the Galaxy yes, okay. looking yeah. vampire drops down behind Billy. <gasps> He's inside. He's inside mm. and a big fight ensues. They hear they hear Billy screaming. They come out. Josh Hartnett comes out with that axe. Drax grabs the axe right out of his hand, just throws it yeah, away. Sure, sure. Doesn't even it's no, like no, not even. A, yeah. Yeah. And they're fighting. It's crazy. He's about to kill Josh Hartnett and Billy or he's like holding Josh Hartnett over the, the muffin monster. Oh, no. And then Billy knocks him in to the muffin monster and Billy White Teeth. White yeah. Teeth Billy, okay. who Part has of. just killed his whole family. Yeah, yeah. sure. So and nothing to lose. Nothing, nothing to, to lose. Except for his arm. He turns oh, back no, around. No! And his arm is gone. He, it went with the vampire and the muffin with. monster. Ow, 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 ow. He's no. lost a limb. No, Emily I hate hates it. That. I hate it. <laughs> it's, you I, don't like that? It's my least favorite. Yeah. Die or keep your whole body. Got I don't. T- I don't like anything in between. You also Got don't it. like knives. I hate knives, and yeah. that's a yeah. There are but a lot of a, knives. Well, those yeah. axes are similar to knives. I feel like. They're, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. They're yeah. just hammer knives. Yeah, they're just big, <laughs> big old hammer big knives. Heavy big, uh, knives. Uh, it's a blades. Hammer knife. Blades is maybe a way yeah. better blades. way. I don't like blades. Blades. Um, or blade. And giant blade. <laughs> Billy has, in this process, been scratched by the vampire. <gasps> and oh, so he he's missing an arm and it's spurting blood. Ew. And he is screaming very loud and crazy and in a lot of pain. No. And while he's screaming, you <gasps> see his teeth kind of changing a little bit. And I he's t- starting first. to like, well, we can't see his eyes because they're squeezed shut because he's in so much pain. Mm, but much pain. <laughs> <laughs> he's starting to kind of sound... Oh, like a great, like crazy scream yeah. sounds. And they're all staring. They don't know what to do. Josh Hartnett picks up that axe <gasps> and axes his head right off in front of everybody. And everyone just, it like, it cuts like to everybody's reaction, kind of staring at it happening. And it's, nobody's having a good time. No. <laughs> it's really upsetting. But had to happen. That's why he's the top cop. That's he, why. The top cop. He has, has to, to do his job, tough. yeah. To decisions. make hard decisions. Um, do they explain ever why they didn't want to turn anyone? Maybe um, it's hard enough to get through the world. I think, I think they just thing. like their crew. Yeah, I think they're good with their crew. No new friends. No new friends. No new yeah. friends. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard enough, you know. They've yeah. got twenty yeah. of them, and okay. it's hard. And to they make really time. know how they do things. You listen yeah, to the record. <laughs> You'd have to like tell a new guy, like, hey, 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 I know you knew. 
But yeah. we like listen to this record and he'd be like, what? This guy plays a record with this <laughs> What are you talking oh, about? <laughs> why? Buddy. Why? Oh, they'd be like, this is why we don't turn new yeah. people. And they'd be like, I just thought of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So Stella and the little boy have not made it back to this place, by the way. Sorry. They're, se- they're not here. Oh, no. And we now see that they are trapped under a car surrounded by vampires. Yes. Fuck. Okay. Um, and they have a walkie talkie. And they walkie talkie Josh Hartnett and Josh Hartnett can like, he's looking through a little hole and you can see them. And he's like, you're surrounded. Oh, fuck. Don't move. She's like, we're free. We're freezing. Um, Cause they're it, like literally laying in the snow, her and this mm. little boy. And she kind of is seeming like she's pretty sure they're going to die. Yeah. So she starts to say her kind of goodbyes. Oh my gosh. They lost a child. And she's like, I'm she's so sorry. This child. I'm yep. so yeah, sorry yeah. for leaving you when I did. And he's like, he's like, no, you know, like, don't talk like that. Like, the sun's going to come up tomorrow, by the way. We're at the. End of oh, we're at 29 days. Days. oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. They've made it uh, quite a ways. Yeah. They've made it <laughs> quite a ways. And we're going to watch that sunrise together. Like, Day don't, away. don't talk like that. We're going to, um, we're going to do this. Um, and she notices that the street is filling up with oil. Something in one of the plants has like broken. Okay. And there's oil leaking all over the town, and the vampires light it on fire. And one of the girls in the plant is like, they're going to burn the whole down, the whole town down. So it looks like it, everything was just like a freak <gasps> accident. There will be no evidence of anything that happened here. So the whole town catches fire. And Jake, the brother, is like, well, this building is not going to burn down. We're in like a really, it's like a power plant. So we're safe here. But Stella and the oh, child are definitely are not, not. Yeah. And so Josh Hartnett is faced with this choice of, or he's like, if if she runs from under the car, they'll kill her. They're right mm-hmm. there. They're around, surrounding her. If she stays there, she'll burn to death. Oh, God. If I come out of this hiding spot, I'll give, up, I'll give up everybody's location <gasps> and they'll kill all of us. And just a lot of bad choices yeah. here. Mm-mm. And he has a little moment of, I know what I got to do. And he rummages in this little bag, like a first aid kit, finds a syringe and goes and gets some blood from Billy and injects it into <gasps> himself. <laughs> and he's like, I've got to become one of them. I what? can't I can't fight them as me. There's some time in between because he saw <laughs> Billy the other guy change and the other guy change. And the other guy changed. So he knows you're still yourself for a little bit. And he's like, I'm gonna go out there as like a strong a hybrid vampire, yes. vampire me so that I can fight them and actually stand a chance. It's wild. I was shocked as well. Whoa! I did not see it coming. <laughs> I am shocked. I'm shocked. Henley, you said it earlier. You were like, he's going to become a vampire at the end. And I'm like, fuck. But, but, but ha- you didn't think I- it was going to happen this way. No. I didn't think also, I didn't think that he would know that he could just inject blood into his own system and that would turn him. Yeah. Right. You don't necessarily you I mean, don't I really guess know. You- that's. I mean, if you're the top cop, you know a lot of that's math true. that we don't know. That's true. <laughs> they teach you special math. You yeah, have to- there's um, special math. There's a master's Whoa. degree. Whoa. Okay. So he is okay. Still a risk, but I guess. Uh, but it's all better, a risk. Better at odds this point. than you mean the other ones. There's a risk of of um, mixing blood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um. So he starts to turn. His eyes get black. He gets the teeth pretty fast. Yeah. Um, Almost simultaneously, teeth mm, and eyes. Yeah, okay. and he. But he still has his own. Right? No brow. He still has no his, brow. He still has his own personality. Ish. He turns to his brother and says, "I can smell your blood." Gross. Which is gross. But he had said that a couple of times through the movie. <laughs> so it's just kind of a call. Kind of on trend. And they're like, I'm going to miss you. Right after. <laughs> I can smell your blood. Yeah. Like I said before. Yeah. Um, and he goes out to face all the remaining vampires. How many would you say are left? Now, I think less than the population of the town. I'd say less than 10. But I would even. say, t- I would say a good, yeah, solid eight to 10. Yeah. Just basically anybody surrounding this car and then maybe a couple of stragglers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To kind of pop out of somewhere. 
Um, he walks out. Danny Houston looks ready for a fight and he's like, what's this? What's happening? And he's kind of fucking with him at first and winning pretty easily. They start to fight. Yeah. And hand to hand combat. Hand to hand combat. <laughs> uh, hand to nail. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. So nail, nail, nail yeah. He does get, he scratches him right in he the face. He scratches him right in the face. Um, the, He like flings him over a car and Josh Hartnett's not doing well. Um, I feel like he gets a few punches in, but yeah. overall is not faring well. I mean, it feels like a superhero against a bad guy. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, I mean, oh, no, yeah. he's not doing well, but that just means yeah. he's going to do better. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's coming. But um, one gross thing that happens is he like goes to punch him and Danny Houston grabs Josh Hartnett's hand and bends it ew, ew, in ew. half in at the palm level. Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. like really, back in half. It's so gross. Yeah, he like pops out the center of his palm, no, which thanks. I've never seen done ew. before. No, yeah. Um, and so Josh Hartnett is like huddling, holding his palm, and um Danny Houston walks a little distance away and then kind of runs at runs and jumps at him and Josh Hartnett flings around and punches through his mouth through the back of his skull <laughs> and punches his brain essentially out of his head. Yeah. It's really wild. <gasps> out of nowhere. <laughs> so crazy. That feels it was like, like a Sam Raimi moment for sure. Yeah, it yes. was like all out of nowhere, super strength, realizing it after palm is in half. Well, hey. <laughs> and there's a moment where- Same palm or the other one? I think it's the other one. It's the other one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not like it turns into like some kind of weird knife at that point. <laughs> or, super palm. It's super palm. No, it's the other. It was. The, it's the good arm. Okay. But also just the fact that Houston was just like- Going away and goes, you know what? No, I'm going to turn back around. I'm going to turn back around, give him an open mouth. <laughs> Mistake. <laughs> give him an open mouth jump. Hey! <laughs> um, then all the rest of the vampires are like, what the fuck do we do now? They yeah. look very um confused and they don't attack him. Well, they just sort of back away. I think so. Josh yeah. Hartnett's our new leader. Well, that's what I kind of thought, but oh, they all just kind of... He's going to become a vampire now. He's going to become a vampire. There's no reversing this process. Right. Oh, fuck. Um, but they all kind of just leave. Well, because now it's getting close to the... Right. To, Daytime. So then they're just like, fuck, well, we got to we get gotta out go. of here We anyway. got to get out of here. Um, and, and there's then, this crazy guy. He's not going to be part of our crew. So right. We're going to head out. And he's going to die in the sunlight. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so oh, this is maybe best case scenario for him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Stella has been watching some of this from under the car. Mm-hmm. Comes out, is like, "What did you do to yourself?" She's crying. Obviously, they're saying their goodbyes. It's yeah, they don't have a happy ending coming up here. Um, so they go to the place where they had their first date, which was mentioned earlier. Okay, in the film, interesting. And I forgot to mention it, but it's basically like an overlook where you can see the sunrise. Aha. Uh-huh. Um, Classic. And Hence that we're going to watch the sunrise got it, together. Got it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and they sit and kiss. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. With the Which shark teeth? I thought was crazy. I was like, I don't know the rules of this. This seems like And also, a, a like, blood... we're really trusting that he's got a handle on this transformation. Yeah. Right. And it seems like it would be transmitted through blood, and he is covered in blood. Yeah. And mm-hmm. we're putting our mouth on that mouth? It seemed, seemed like a bad idea. Bad to idea, me, yeah. But I guess it was sweet. Yeah. <laughs> um, they have a kiss and the sun comes up and his skin turns <gasps> to ash. Oh my God. And he dies. Yeah. Is that the end? And it ends on her face looking very sad and closing her eyes so and holding was... his dead little ash body. Oh, it's like God. A, it was like a rom com at the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a rom com. This is we actually were... a romantic film. So, this yeah. is a uh, sort of a weed comedy. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A horror and a rom com. Yeah. 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 It's like a family drama. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. A lot of layers. Um, This movie was nuts. It was yes. really nuts. I think I. <laughs> sounds a little different than Twilight. It a is little different. different. A little different. Though, so head removal big part of twilight as well in case you're wondering um i'm really glad that i saw this movie i will say did you have a fun time i had a really fun time and i will say most of the movies we've done are rewatches for me this was the first one that this is the first time i had seen it this in event horizon and it's fun to see a movie for the first time yeah Uh, i was excited and it's an older it's an older one i mean now it's like what 
13 years yeah, old. Yeah, 13 years old. But I feel like it holds up. I mean, it other does than hold music up. wise and like, you know, rap rock. But like the rap rock. Rap rock thematically and like the way that it's done is really cool it, it looks cool it looks the good trailer did still. look good yeah and yeah and I Josh really Hartnett it. holds up he does he does and that's what I was uh, oh I looked it up he was 29 when this movie was made okay. which honestly he wow. looked so much younger in that trailer I'm a I mean, forever young. What yeah. a little baby face. Yeah. What does that say about me that I'm like almost the same age and feel like he looked 15 years younger than me? <laughs> I really what does don't that know. mean about how I perceive the world around me? I don't know. I'll I think, really don't know what to I'm do gonna, with that, Henley. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> okay. Please let us know. But he was great. He was. He got better as the story got I'd say better. especially, I feel like when he became a vampire, I was like, oh, Josh Arnett's fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. But what's his name? Acting him around, like fucking. Oh, Danny Houston. Oh, Danny Houston. Circles around him. Ooh. Danny said. Houston crushed this movie. We're going to have to post some he clips made the of movie. Danny Houston. Hell yeah. Because he's so fucking good He's in so it. good. Just the, even the way that he's, he moves in this movie. I was going to say, a, movie, a, a, a gif could do it. A gif could show you just the like. What he's bringing to the movements. table. It's yeah. like the way he moves is so I mean, fucking he's great. great. We'll post some gifts. Yeah. We'll post some gifts. Um, wow, what a journey. I liked this a lot. This was great. This was a fun time. Eugene, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. For thank doing you. this with us. You're I, the best. I wish you could watch the movie, but I get what this podcast is. <laughs> 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 Took you until the end of it to understand what we're doing here. Well, no, just because as we're, as we're explaining it, I'm like, it's so good. You, get I, get I, in there. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I feel I the know. same way a lot. But then I, but like, and I'm like, oh, can you skip over the scary parts? Like, no, Not they're really. kind of important. This is exactly yeah. the thing, right? Like, I, I feel as though I'm able to. Obviously, I can't get the full picture, but I can appreciate a lot more of yeah. these movies than I otherwise would be able to. Because right. there's some horror movies though that uh, don't have. They don't. You know, Do that use any of the buffalo, yeah. or they don't even like tell a real good story. It's just kind of like yeah, right. this scary, weird thing, and you're just we're just trying to get you jump yeah, and yeah, freak jump out. scares yeah. and all that stuff. This actually has like the you know, it's suspenseful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like a thriller, which is yeah. great, and also is what's hard for me. Yeah, like that that tension build is really hard for me. And to- there is a lot of knives and hammer knives. <laughs> yeah, see, <laughs> big, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that muffin maker. What is it? Muffin machine. Muffin. Muffin. Muffin, muffin monster. Muffin, muffin monster. monster yeah. That makes sense. Um. Yeah. No, that's not for me. That's yeah. not. I don't like to. It's tough. Imagine I get it. That. That's fair. Um. The way we have to close this out is okay. both of you have to um say your goodbyes in the best vampire speak you can like in a different language in i don't the, know in the vampire language we would never know i listen i know I that try. I, I tried to lob this in earlier you said no i could try you said no but i i really want to hear your best yeah, efforts I do oh, it's okay. gonna be they, you both seem ready yeah. i mean it's gonna be bad in my head it sounds okay and it's gonna be bad but okay, it would be well. like <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's really good. that was honestly great yeah. No, oh, but it's more like Latin. It is though. It is. It's a okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's better. That's better. Oh, you did it. It's like it's like you say. Just say like the Latin phrase. Carpe diem. Mea culpa. Hey everyone, it's Henley. Thanks for listening to another episode of Too Scary Didn't Watch. If you enjoyed hearing us chat about 30 Days of Night, um, we'd love to hear from you. Head on over to Apple Podcasts where you can subscribe, rate, and review us. Um, We're also on social media at TSDW Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. We are also now on the Stardust app, so if you want to see our actual real faces respond to these movies, um, head on over there where you can see us do some pretty uh, dumb reactions to these things. Um, We would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for being a fan and talk to you later.